tandem rappelling is when both climbers are attached to the same rappel device and they descend together. It is slower and can also be more dangerous than rappelling separately. So you should only consider a tandem rappel in an emergency, such as if your partner is injured and cannot control a rappel device by themselves. A standard tandem rappel setup looks something like this. A double length sling is girth hitched to the lead rappeller's harness. An overhand knot is tied in the sling, leaving a short tail which is clipped to the injured climber's belay loop. An ATC is clipped through the overhand knot, and the lead rappeller has a prusik on their belay loop. There are many ways of connecting two climbers to one rappel device. It doesn't really matter exactly how you do this. The important points are that both climbers are connected to the rappel device with a full strength attachment, there is a prusik backup in the system, the rappel device is extended but still within reach, and it's better if the lead rappeller is positioned lower than the injured climber. Rappel slowly and take all the same precautions that you would on any other rappel. You should extra focus on keeping your ropes free from tangling on stuff and making sure you know exactly where you are rappelling to. If you rappel to the end of your ropes and cannot build an anchor there, you will have massive problems. Consider giving your partner a chest harness. Tie an overhand knot in the middle of a double length sling and put their arms through it as if it was a jacket. Clip it to some part of the rappel setup with a quick draw. This really helps to keep them upright during the descent. If your partner is conscious and able to somewhat move around, then you could both attach to the anchor using slings or personal tethers or however you normally would. If your partner is unconscious or just cannot help at all, then it's a good idea to attach them on a releasable system. This makes it easier to release them when it's time to rappel. There are many ways of doing this, here's one method which uses the rope. Stop rappelling when you are still fairly high on the anchor. You can always rappel down a bit if needed, but you will have great difficulty going up even a tiny amount. Tie a catastrophe knot so you can go hands free. Build the anchor and create a central point. In this case, it's a convenient rappel anchor. The rings are only big enough to fit one carabiner through, so we have chosen to use a large screw gate carabiner at the central point, upon which everything else will be clipped. Clip yourself to the anchor. Then tie your partner into the end of the rope which you will be pulling, and attach them to the anchor with a releasable knot, like the Munter Mule overhand. It's always good to have a backup, so attach them with the sling as well, in such a way that their weight is on the releasable knot. Rappel down a bit and check the system.
The chest harness can be clipped to the anchor. Remove the ATC and Prusik. And pull the ROPs. Thread the anchor. Tie a knot in the end of the rope. The same stuff as for any other rappel. Set up the tandem rappel so you are both attached to the ATC and you have a Prusik just the same as before. Now you can remove your partner's backup sling. Clip their chest harness back onto the device. And release them from the anchor so their weight is slowly transferred onto the ATC. Then unclip and rappel down. If your partner is attached to the anchor with a sling and then becomes unconscious, you will have to lift them up and unclip their sling in order to move them from the anchor to the rappel device or to move them onto a releasable knot. This can be extremely difficult, but it's easier with a stirrup hoist. Here's how. First, make sure that your partner is actually attached to the thing that you are going to transfer them to. In this case, it's a releasable knot with a backup sling. You may also use the stirrup hoist to move your partner straight onto a tandem rappel setup. It's always good to have some kind of backup when doing this, so that you can properly check their setup after stirrup hoisting them onto it. Use a double length sling, clip one end to their belay loop, redirect it through the anchor, and stand in the loop. Put all of your weight into it. Push your partner up and struggle to unclip their sling, trying desperately not to slip and get your finger trapped underneath a weighted carabiner. Once unclipped, slowly lower them down. <laughs> 